when did you find out was there, what, what, was there a certain thing that happened <coughs> or maybe something that you experienced with well, with recordings of Black Sheep uh, Boy? Yeah. What's this, when did well, I think that part of it was a desire to, to not repeat myself and to not um, do the same thing over, over again. And with Black Sheep Boy, I very deliberately thought, I want, to, I want these records, I want this um, world of this record to feel like a fairy tale, like an old, out of time thing. Not old, but a not in modern time. Um, and so, you know, if you're thinking that you want to make this, your next record really different, well, that's one way to do it, is to take it up to to now, to the modern time, to modern times. So it's for you then, then how, how did you progress from there? Well, you just had the stage names and then you thought, well, hmm, how can I translate it into this, these times? Or? Um, no, no, actually I, I, I had the idea that I wanted to make a modern record before I started writing the stage names. I had like, you know, one or two songs that some of which ended up on the record and some of which didn't and will be on uh, our kind of appendix record, I think, that we might end up doing. Um, but uh, they seem to point this direction. This kind of thing where it's modern people and they're not, um, they're not having massive cataclysmic things happening happen to them. They're having ordinary day-to-day -day disappointments and bullshit happen to them. Kind of like, you know, real life. And um, that was the original idea. And then... As the theme of the stage name started to come together and congeal more in my head, um, I kind of uh, kept working in that direction. Um, but the actual title, this, the stage name, was, came really late in the game, I thought. I like to call this record, this, it wasn't that I had a song called The Stage Names, so it's like, I like to call this record The Stage Names, I, but I, I feel like I want to do a title track if I'm going to do that, so I wrote a title track uh, for it. Is it for you, uh, is there one, well, character that, 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 that was first? What was the first character? The first character was um, a girl who does not appear on... There's, see, in my mind, there's people who, uh, who are common between the different songs. And I do think of it in terms of characters. It might sound um, weird to say this or like I'm making it up, but it, I'm not. Uh, the first character that I thought of is a girl named Holly who lives in a, um, a Midwestern town in the United States. And um, she has her own song, which I did not end up putting on the, the record, but it'll probably come out at some point later. And, but she also appears in the song A Girl in Port. And she was the, the sort of the first person to show up and seem like she bel belonged to the record, uh, the first inhabitant kind of the, the world. And, and uh, I don't know. There's so so. I guess that was the first character that I thought of. And is it for you? Then then how 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 did the other characters evolve? Was it they spin off of each other? Or? Well, I think it's just like you think of people, and you th sometimes somebody. Some songs are more are are more centered around an idea, and some songs are more centered around a character. But there's all there there often is a, a character that I have in mind. Even in a song like Our Life Is Not a Movie, or maybe which is more centered around um, words and an idea and less centered around a character. I have a, some characters who are so, sort of floating around in mind. Um, but with like another song, like with John Allen Smith Sales, the last song, that song is all about that character. It's his voice, it's his song. He gets to, to do what he, what he wants and say what he wants. Um, but, uh, uh, so, you know, it's... And it really, this album really is more than anything I've ever done before. It's all about the characters. Originally, I wanted every single song to be an, a, a biographical song about a real person, but I, I changed that a little bit, kind of getting into all these different people's heads and writing from all these different people's point of view who are real people and trying to simulate and reconstruct their thoughts in a language that seemed authentic to them and that, um, and that referenced their lives. That was my original idea in some ways, but I, just, I don't know. I didn't end up wanting to do that in the end.